as the Cardinals home after a three and four Western road trip come to town with some momentum a winning series against the San Diego Padres pitching defense and timely hitting all on display and of course it's a very special day here in St. Louis a celebration unlike any other in the major leagues so they are juiced up on what is the Cardinals home opener here in 2024. Chip Lance Lynn spent seven seasons with the Cardinals, never got to start a home opener. He did start the home opener for some other teams, some other teams today he will get his chance with the St. Louis Cardinals. He told me, Lance said, look, I don't get excited for a lot of things. I honestly am excited about this. I love seeing all the Cardinal Hall of Famers in their red jackets, and I am pumped for this. The left-handed batting, Luis Arise, who won the batting title in the National League last year, the year before he won it in Minnesota. Lining one to left, a diving effort in left field, and the catch is made by Siani. That's just the way the game started two days ago in San Diego. Bogarts hit a sinking line drive to left, Siani a diving play, and that set the tone for a Cardinal win. He's had three balls hit to him so far this year, and he's been able to make the dive and to make a great catch every time. It's just become a habit for him, and he was very excited about getting that one to start off the season here at home. Josh Bell, switch hitter, on the ground to second. That should be easy for Gorman, and it is. Two outs for Lynn, four pitches. Here is Jake Berger, a St. Louis native. Told you in the open that he told me earlier today, oh my goodness, I'm nervous. And that missed inside ball four, a two-out walk issued. And for the first time as a visiting player at Bush Stadium, Jake Berger will go down there to first base and touch that bag. One of the things I've noticed about Jazz Chisholm this year, he's been patient uh, at the plate. He's already walked seven times. Uh, that's a good sign for Jazz that he has been that patient. Swung on and missed. Chisholm strikes out. And Lynn leaves Berger on base. Up against Ryan Weathers, who makes the start this afternoon, his second of the year. Well, it should be good with pitches, 94 in his first outing. And, you know, to me, I thought he had, he's got great stuff. He's got a good fastball, mid to upper 90s. Victor Scott the second can absolutely fly. Uh, any ball on the infield, you better get over to first base in a hurry. Scott can fly to the extent that he just lost his cap as he got out of the box. Weathers retires him. Two pitches and one out. Nice start for Ryan Weathers. Of course, the first baseman for the Cardinals. MVP a couple of years ago in 2022. Seven times an all-star. Smoked into left center field. That's down for a base hit. So all the concern about Paul Goldschmidt's slow offensive spring. Well, he's done good work in his first eight games now. Here is Nolan Arenado, a career 268 hitter against the Marlins with 14 homers. Here's a ground ball hit left side softly. Anderson flips it to second for one throw to first two. That's a double play. Arenado did not get out of the box every well. An inning ending twin killing for the Marlins goes 6-4-3. Ivan Herrera leads off. No Wilson Contreras today. A swing and a high fly ball. That's hit to deep left field. Back to the track. The ball. It's a goner. On the home opening day start for Yvonne Herrera, he hits a home run, his first in the big leagues, and it comes in the cleanup spot. Well, Ali must have had a hunch about putting him fourth. He has been swinging the bat with power authority, and it was on display there. That missed badly, so a homer and a four-pitch walk to begin the second inning. Here is Jordan Walker. Boy, we'd like to see Walker get going. Jordan Walker out towards center. Jazz back onto the track. Leaps and makes the catch. Boy, for a ballpark that he hasn't played an awful lot of center field, he played that one extremely well for the first out. Jake came out for batting practice earlier today. There was 15 or 20 people yelling his name. Cardinals fans because they recognized Jake Berger, who was a bit of a hero growing up as a kid. Berger, fly ball, left field, headed toward the Marlins bullpen, and welcome home, Jake Berger. In his first ever game at Bush Stadium, has gone deep. He floats around the bases here in St. Louis. It's one-to-one -one here in the fourth. And you know he is floating around the bases as he circles the pillows, and his family and friends are up and cheering for Jake Berger. Uh, what a homer for the big guy. First of the year. Marlins have him first and third after Sanchez singles up the middle. And now Lynn's got some work to do. Tim Anderson, his former White Sox teammate, will be next. Sanchez takes off. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Lynn does take care of Anderson. Six strikeouts. 
And now Nick Gordon bats. So the Cardinals betting on Lynn's ability to get Gordon out. And the next pitch is swung on and missed, and they win the bet. Lynn strikes out the side. Six hits and 30 at bats now for a rise. Josh Bell, the first two times up, grounded out to second. Lynn would take that right here. Bell sends one high and deep out towards center at the wall, and it's a two run home run for Josh Bell. So Berger and Bell, the dynamic duo, have both gone yard here today in St. Louis. And that's one of the things that Lance Lynn did a lot of last year. He gave up a lot of gopher balls. He gave up 44 homers last year. He's given up two today. The Marlins have their first lead of the afternoon. Hits one high toward left. Did he do it again? Give me a double. Two home runs for Jake Berger. Well, he might want to have his family just travel around the whole season. <laughs> He spent a lot of money on plane flights. So that's going to be all for Lance Lynn, who's allowed two homers to Jake Berger, three in total, two punt hits for Jazz Chisholm as well. They chase him in the fifth. It swung on, hit high in the air, right center field. Walker moving back. He's on the track and jumps, and Walker made the catch at the top of the wall. Wow, that one almost went out of here by Sanchez. But it's out number three. And it's imperative that Weathers makes sure that when the Marlins get back into the dugout to hit in the top half of the sixth inning, the score is still 4-1. to one. Not 4-2, not 4-3, four, 4-1. Four, one. Four one. I agree with you. A swing and a ground ball to third. That's going to get a run in. Goldschmidt is thrown out by Berger, but the Cardinals are down by a 4-2 count. Scott is at second base, and the tying run now is Nolan Arenado. Swing, shot, hit toward the corner and left. That ball is down. Gordon plays that into an extra base hit. Scott around third. He will score. The Cardinals are down one. Heck of a base running play by Tim Anderson there. Did you see what he did? I'll tell you what. If he had kept running, he might have been safe. The wind would have had to stop and throw the ball to home. That one gets by. Here comes Anderson. And putting the runners in motion a little bit helps to manufacture a run for the Marlins on the wild pitch. And there's a break for the Cardinals. Now you've got to make that hurt. Cardinals now with two base runners for Ivan Herrera. Cardinals again with an opportunity, John, to make an error hurt. Right up the middle, there's a base hit. Here comes Goldie to third. He's going to score without a throw. A two RBI game for Herrera, and the Cardinals are down a run. Andrew Nardi last year was one of the best in the big leagues in this particular situation, stranding inherited runners. Swing and a shot. That's down the right field line. That's down for a base hit. One run scores. Streaking toward third, Herrera. Herrera beats the throw, and the Cardinals take the lead on the RBI double for Nolan Gorman. Cardinals with a three-run bottom of the seventh inning have taken the lead. Alec looking for his first hit, is hit sharply left side, base hit for Burleson. That drives in Gorman, and the Cardinals add on another. It's 7-5 St. Louis as Burleson delivers with two outs. Mason wins hit the ball hard twice tonight, his first ever game against the Marlins. He singled last time up. This one down the right field line, near the line. It's off the glove in the corner. Here comes Burleson. He will score. Win flying toward third. They'll hold him up. The Cardinals add on. This is not getting any better for the Miami bullpen. The sellout crowd in St. Louis wants one more out. 47,273 were here today. Popped him up. Gorman out. Walker coming in. Cardinals win it. 8 5 is your final. Tell you what, Jim, the last four games, Cardinal baseball looks to be back.